Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So firstly, before I start off, quick sort of shop channel update. Uh, last week there was no videos that went out and that is because I had quite a bad issue with supply. Um, things being delayed, you know, no stock anywhere and just everything at the moment is pretty hard to get hold of. Uh, but that being said, today I did get my first two Cutlass CT50s delivered. Um, the Fire Mist and the Blue ones were delayed by a month. Um, so I had to tell the customers that are waiting on those um, which was kind of crappy, but you know, it is what it is. I do have two. I had a rose gold one turn up and I had this sunburst one turn up. So in this video, I haven't even cut the tape on this yet. We're going to unbox this and see what it was like out of the box. Uh, the rose gold one I've been working on today to get that ready and I'll put up some images alongside this video. Um, out of the box, that guitar's action and intonation was set up sort of really, really nice, but the fret work wouldn't it wouldn't be something I would be happy to send out and again I'll put images up of the sort of before and after so we're going to have a look at this one straight out of the box to see what that one's like and um, you know so coming up on the channel for videos for these I'm going to compare this one to the one you've already seen the older Cutlass CT50 um, one thing I would say is that even in a box this one feels a bit lighter than this one so that's got to be down to the roasted maple, but they're, they're a lot lighter. Um, like I said, so we'll compare the new ones and the old ones. Uh, I'll show you um, sort of, you know, around the new ones as well. We'll do some sound demos and everything. Um, for the video where I show you exactly what I do to the guitars, so what tools I use, what, you know, polishes I use and everything, I'm going to wait until the blue ones come in because they're having some customization done. So I'm going to film that as well. So that'll be a bit later on down the line. Um, other than that, I have the... For anyone that watched the live stream and seen that I was doing a project on Fiverr, that's now um, finished, so that'll be going up after this video. And also the 2021 Vintage V100 Lemon Drop. Uh, I've got one of those that came today, and we're going to go through that guitar as well. So that was a bit of a channel slash shop update, and now we'll get on to unboxing this and check it out and see what it's like. So I've got it out of the box then, and again, the first thing that strikes me in a massive way is the weight difference between the old one and the new one. It is unbelievable. I, I genuinely, this is the lightest S-type I've ever picked up. I reckon this thing is low six pound. It is super, super light. So I haven't looked at anything, you know, fretwork wise or anything like that just yet. But look at the finish with, with the grain coming through. You know, that is, uh, you know, super nice. I'll show you the back as well. Scratch plate covering it up a bit, but see the grain there, so nice. Like I said, this is the older one again. Totally, totally different looking grain pattern to the old and the new. Completely different. Um, so, like I said, I'm doing this in sort of real time here. So, looking at the frets on here, they don't look to be quite as sort of machine oily as the other ones were. But again, you know, I, I would have, I make sure they're sort of super highly polished, dead smooth. Um, the edges are all really nice. In fairness, the edges on the other one were pretty good. It was just the fret faces themselves. Um, you know, again, I'm doing this in real time, but have a look at that. And you've got the locking tuners just here as well. I do think they're slightly, slightly different locking tuners, you know, to the old one. Let's have a look at this one here. Yeah, they're definitely different locking tuners. These these locking tuners have a sort of bevel around the lock, whereas them ones, you can see, are sort of flat on the thumb wheels. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. So we've definitely got different locking tuners, which I actually suspect it was the case. So, you know, I'm going to just tune this up just now, if I get in shot. So I'm going to tune this up just now. Um, I'm not going to do any setup on it just yet. I'm going to take it back to work to do that. And we're going to hear it just quickly, seeing as though you've watched the video, you might as well hear how it sounds. But absolutely, I just can't get over the difference in weight. It's so light. So like I said, we'll hear it now, and then, uh, you know, that'll be the end of the video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one.
so yeah, I would say that after just playing it just then for like literally two or three minutes, um, the faces of the frets, once again, like on the rose gold, they definitely aren't smooth out of the box. Uh, but that's, you know, that's why you get a guitar from someone like me who's willing to put the time into them, you know, it makes all the difference for no extra cost. But overall, you know, once again, I'm glad to say that CT50s are still wicked guitars. Um, like I said before, this isn't a full review. There will be a full review of this guitar. Uh, again, like I said before, compared to the old one as well. Um, so yeah, like I said, hopefully you've enjoyed this little sort of unboxing slash channel update and shop update. And uh, I'll see you again on the next one.